The National World War II Museum's new exhibit, Fighting for the Right to Fight, explores African-American experiences in wartime. And we have several artifacts on display from one of the icons of World War II, the Tuskegee Airmen. These combat pilots trained in Tuskegee, Alabama, and went overseas to fly and fight in the Mediterranean theater of operations. Claiborne Buddy Lockett was born in Los Angeles, California in 1918. He enlisted before Pearl Harbor and trained to be a fighter pilot, earning his wings in 1943. Lockett went overseas with the 332nd Fighter Group, which can be seen in this distinctive patch for the group. And he eventually was assigned to the 301st Fighter Squadron. He flew patrols, arm reconnaissance, and bomber escort, where he wore this ANH-15 flying helmet. Lockett is unique and that he also flew for the Royal Air Force in North Africa. You can see this pair of Royal Air Force gloves here. He logged time in the Spitfire, Hurricane, and captured German JU-87 and JU-88 aircraft. He returned to the U.S. in November 1944 after he suffered an accident that left him with a severely injured hip. These artifacts, along with dozens of others, will be featured in the new exhibit, Fighting for the Right to Fight, African American Experiences in World War II at the National World War II Museum here in New Orleans. <laughs>